from Elon Musk. Tesla just shared major updates on Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot during the latest earnings call, and it's happening way faster than you think. Tesla is aiming to produce 10,000 robots this year, with plans to scale up to millions in the future. Musk even says this could become a trillion dollar industry. Economy is like 10xing, <laughs> frankly. Doubling is not even enough. How realistic is this? What does it mean for the future of robotics? Let's break it all down. Clear, simple, and straight to the point. Let's get into it. For starters, Tesla has set an ambitious goal. 10,000 Optimus robots by the end of 2025. That was one of the biggest takeaways from the company's Q4 2024 earnings call on January 29, 2025. Musk himself admitted that hitting this target won't be easy. I'm not saying it's an easy path, but I see a path. But Tesla is pushing forward aggressively and with rapid innovation. Right now, Optimus is already being tested inside Tesla's factories, handling repetitive tasks that would otherwise require human workers. These real-world tests are a crucial step in scaling production because they provide insights into how the robots perform in practical settings. The more Tesla refines Optimus in its own operations, the faster it can improve the design, making it more efficient, reliable, and ready for wider deployment. One of the biggest challenges is manufacturing them at scale. Unlike Tesla's cars, which rely on a well-established supply chain, Optimus requires an entirely new one. The motors, actuators, and sensors all need to be custom-built because existing components weren't designed for humanoid robots. Tesla has been hiring engineers to work on these problems, and they're developing a new manufacturing system from the ground up. Musk compared the challenge to designing a train, the tracks, and the station all at the same time, while the train is already moving. It's not like a train arriving at the station for Optimus. We are designing the train and the station and in real time while also building the tracks. That level of complexity makes predicting exact timelines difficult. But if Tesla succeeds in getting several thousand units working by the end of this year, it's a clear sign they're on track for something much bigger. And that's where the long-term vision comes in. Millions of Optimus robots every year. Tesla wants to ramp up production at an unprecedented pace, faster than any previous technology rollout. Think about how quickly smartphones became mainstream. Now consider humanoid robots reaching that level of adoption. It might seem far-fetched now, but Tesla is laying the foundation for it to happen. Other than the factory work, Optimus is designed to handle a wide range of tasks, from assisting in homes to working in industries like logistics, retail, and healthcare. As AI capabilities improve, the potential applications expand even further. Musk believes that once Tesla proves the robot's usefulness and cost-effectiveness, demand will skyrocket. So the, you have to say, what's the ratio of humanoid robots to humans? My guess is it's least, at least three to one, four to one, maybe five to one. So we're talking about 20, 30 billion humanoid robots. But how does this all translate to Tesla's bottom line? That's where things get even more interesting. Musk predicts that Optimus could become a $10 trillion industry. That's not just a big number, it's a staggering one. To put it into perspective, Tesla's entire electric vehicle business is worth a fraction of that. The total value of the world's largest companies, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and Saudi Aramco, combined is around $10 trillion. Musk is essentially saying that Optimus alone could be bigger than all of them. Tesla is worth more than the next top five companies combined. At first glance, that might sound unrealistic. But if Tesla can mass-produce humanoid robots at an affordable price, it could fundamentally change how labor works. Robots wouldn't just replace repetitive factory jobs, they could take on roles across nearly every industry. That kind of shift could reshape the global economy. One of the biggest reasons Musk is so confident in these numbers is the sheer demand for labor. Many industries struggle with workforce shortages, and wages continue to rise in key sectors like healthcare, construction, and manufacturing. If a humanoid robot can perform these tasks efficiently and at a lower cost, businesses will line up to buy them. Tesla is also betting on its AI expertise to give Optimus an edge over competitors. Training a humanoid robot is significantly more complex than training a self-driving car, but the payoff could be enormous. The more capable Optimus becomes, the more valuable it is. And with each iteration, production costs will likely drop, 
making it accessible to more businesses, and eventually, even households. If Musk is even partially right about the market potential, Optimus could redefine Tesla's future. While the company is known for its electric cars, it may soon be recognized just as much, if not more, for robotics. The real question is, how soon will Optimus be ready for the real world? That brings us to the AI challenge, which Musk says is one of the biggest hurdles to overcome. Tesla's biggest advantage in building Optimus is artificial intelligence. The same AI that powers Tesla's self-driving cars is being adapted for humanoid robots, but there's a major difference. Training a robot like Optimus is 10 times harder than training an autonomous vehicle. A self-driving car has one job, navigate roads, avoid obstacles, and get from point A to point B. Its environment is structured, with traffic rules, road signs, and predictable patterns. A humanoid robot faces a much more complex challenge. It has to walk, maintain balance, carry objects, manipulate tools, and interact with humans in unpredictable environments. Every movement requires precise coordination between sensors, actuators, and AI decision-making. Walking on uneven ground, gripping an object with the right amount of force, or responding to voice commands are all significantly more complicated than what a car needs to do. A vehicle only has to focus on external surroundings, while Optimus must process both its surroundings and its own body movements at the same time. That's why Musk has emphasized that training Optimus requires at least 10 times more AI effort than Tesla's autonomous driving system. This is an entirely new supply chain. It is entirely new technology. There is nothing off the shelf to use. We try desperately with Optimus to, to use any existing motors, actuators, sensors, nothing, nothing worked for a human or robot. The sheer number of different tasks Optimus will need to learn makes it an even bigger AI challenge. A car follows rules, but a humanoid robot has to understand context. If it picks up a fragile item, it needs to adjust its grip. If it's walking in a crowded space, it has to navigate around people smoothly. Tesla is leveraging its AI expertise to develop neural networks that can process and respond in real time. The company has already made significant progress, with Optimus demonstrating improved mobility and dexterity in just the past year. The latest versions of the robot can walk on uneven terrain, pick up objects, and even perform tasks like sorting materials inside Tesla's factories. One challenge is processing speed. The AI behind Optimus needs to make split-second decisions based on real-time sensor data. In Tesla's latest demo, Optimus walked across rough terrain using onboard sensors, without relying on cameras. The AI processed movement adjustments in just 2 to 3 milliseconds, allowing the robot to adapt instantly. As training improves, Optimus will be able to perform more advanced tasks with greater precision. The goal is to make the robot capable of handling jobs across various industries. Also, training happens both in simulated environments and real-world applications. The more Optimus is used, the smarter it gets. Each iteration refines its AI, allowing it to adapt to more complex tasks. The goal is to create a robot that can learn continuously, much like a human, instead of being limited to pre-programmed instructions. With all this development, you're probably wondering, when will Optimus actually be available for purchase? Musk has said that Tesla could start selling a limited batch of Optimus robots by late 2025. These first models will likely be deployed in industrial settings, assisting with repetitive tasks in Tesla's own factories before expanding to other industries. Tesla is already using Optimus for real work, automating tasks that were previously done by human workers. The robots are performing simple but useful functions, as mentioned previously, like carrying materials and assembling parts in controlled environments. This hands-on experience allows Tesla to refine Optimus quickly before making it available to a broader market. The eventual goal is to bring the robot to consumers. While it may take time before Optimus is in homes, Musk has hinted that as production scales, prices could drop significantly. Tesla is aiming for a cost similar to a car, making humanoid robots more accessible over time. But even with production ramping up, what happens next? As AI gets better and robots become more capable, how will they fit into everyday life? Musk believes humanoid robots could become as common as smartphones, predicting a future where they outnumber humans 3 to 1. 
That would mean 30 billion robots assisting in factories, homes, and businesses worldwide. With advancements in AI and automation, these robots could take over most labor-intensive jobs, lowering the cost of goods and services dramatically. At that scale, Musk suggests that money itself could lose its significance. If robots can produce nearly everything people need, traditional economic structures might no longer apply. Instead of worrying about wages and expenses, society could shift to an era of abundance, where basic needs are met effortlessly. It's a vision that seems distant, but Tesla is already laying the groundwork. As production ramps up and AI capabilities improve, the idea of humanoid robots becoming everyday companions or workers no longer feels impossible. So, how much will one of these robots actually cost? Musk has hinted at a price range, but whether it will be affordable for most people or remain a tool for industries depends on what happens next. Well, what do you think? Are we really heading toward a future where humanoid robots outnumber humans? Would you want one in your home or workplace? And if you want to stay ahead of every Tesla Optimus update, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Because ready or not, the age of humanoid robots is coming.